What's up guys? Um, this is uh, going to be a video about uh, a gun I just picked up again. Uh, this is probably one of my most sentimental guns in my collection. Um, I used to own this gun years ago, uh, five, I don't know, yeah, about five years ago, maybe six. And uh, when I first, this is my first small pocket carry pistol this is what I bought this is before the days of all the super all the 380s you know if you wanted a small 380 this was kind of what to go for um, I think the only thing out was the Kel-Tec uh, little small Kel-Tec anyway this one has a good, re good reputation um, I sold it to my grandpa he loved the gun um, you know I always told him you know you ever decide to sell it, I'll buy a bag for you and I'll match, match whatever else anybody else says, you know, he's like, yeah, whatever. Well, he passed away not too long ago and, uh, my grandma told me if, uh, I wanted to buy that, I bought a bag for what I paid for it. Um, and, um, matter of fact, my grandpa, he owns a lot of guns, he's not an avid shooter, he's, he does, he used to hunt, but he got a little older and he just didn't really tinker around hunting and fishing as much like he used to but uh this is also going to be a, a little bit of a review i got one but you know this is a review on two guns two data points you know two informations on two different types of guns um get, if you're looking to buy something like this it'll give you a good thing but anyway uh, matter of fact these are the same bullets i sold with them took it outside today cleaned it uh shot perfectly the guns never malfunctioned as a matter of fact in my other videos if you've seen it i had all stainless the main reason i bought that because i couldn't see buying a full stainless and having you know buying the exact same gun over again i sold that to a friend because i knew i was going to be getting this one back um it's the versa the guy who made it originally worked for uh beretta he was like an engineer or a gunsmith or something there he made quite a few guns and then he somehow I don't know what backstories other people tell you better but just knowing that he worked for Breda and did a lot of their stuff he knew what he was doing when he started the company now this gun is a rip off copy whatever you want to call it I don't care if a gun's a rip off as long as it works good the gun has been safety checked here's the bullets that was in it I keep my stuff loaded and up safe but anyway this gun, the Walther PPK, is really the kind of ripoff what it's made out of. Um, they're almost identical, besides few small features. And um, anyway, uh, also the Makarov is the same thing. People they they try to say the Makarov wasn't a copy, and people argue, but the guns look too similar, too close to the design to not be. I don't care. They're both good guns. I'm going to own a Makarov uh, pretty soon. But anyway, some of the features. It's got safety and decocker, a lot like Beretta. Um, press up for safe, or up for alt, ready to fire. You got red indicator. If it's cocked, I'll show you it's empty. If it's cocked, you got decocker. Um, when you most of them when you slam the magazine in, I've seen some that won't do it but when you slam the magazine in on an open chamber it will close and load one in that's kind of like a call I was talking to Smith and Wesson the other day about my problem that you may have seen in my other videos and uh, they said that most companies do that now that it's kind of like a combat ready that's what a gunsmith told me I don't know but anyway trigger pull I can't pull the trigger because it's also got the magazine disconnect, which that isn't a hit or miss. I mean, it, it's, it's not going to buy it. I'd rather not have one in there, but I, I mean, I'd rather not have it on there, but it doesn't uh, hurt the gun. It's also got the little, uh, it comes with a lock that you can lock the uh, safety on it. But I own two of these guns, both of them run great. It's got decent sights on it for a little gun. It's got a uh, three dot sights and this gun right here will keep up with the best of them with this small caliber it'll shoot keep up with the LC9 um, I was hitting a soup can out there today at about 
30 yards and I wasn't really precision having to, trying to be that precise with it I mean it's a good gun they're adjustable too for windage um, you can get different sight and saw sights uh, wood grips to put on there um, it comes with a seven round magazine eight with one in the chamber now actually the only I did when I did first buy it I did have one malfunction and that was solely with the ammo PMC Starfire if you ever seen PMC Starfire it's named Starfire for a reason it stars out and actually has points I don't know why they bought this but I've heard nothing but bad reviews about this ammo and it shot all of them but once but anything else that I've ever I've ran hundreds of rounds through these guns I don't recommend Starfire for anything just the way it's made um, you can have this gun right here if you find the right spot for about two hundred and fifty dollars that's a pretty good deal they're made in Brazil but heck everything's about made in a different country anymore um, the early the early models and the night you know I guess 80s or 90s whenever these came out they did their the machining did have a few problems but now as a matter of fact they're made in Argentina to be specific this is called the Bursa Thunder 380 they make these in all different kinds and the police used to carry these in uh, Argentina um, it's pretty much all I got to say just showing y'all some kind of special little gun of mine I got back and everything like that and appreciate appreciate it guys thanks for watching